Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Ash Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. Our first psalm is Psalm 108, entitled, Praise of God and a Plea for Help. My heart is ready, O God. I will sing. Sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sakoth. Galid is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet, Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Accept the prayers of your servants, Lord, and prepare our hearts to praise your holy name. Come to our aid in time of trouble and make us worthy to sing your songs of thanksgiving. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah entitled, The Prophet's Joy in the Vision of a New Jerusalem. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight, and your land espoused, for the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you, and a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I will praise my God all the days of my life. Our second psalm is Psalm 146, entitled, Those Who Trust in God Know What It Is to Be Happy. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay and their plans that day, that day come to nothing. He is happy who helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. 
It is he who keeps his faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of glory and power, those who have put all their trust in you are happy indeed. Shine the brightness of your light on us, that we may love you always with a pure heart. I will praise my God all the days of my life. Our reading this morning is taken from the book of Deuteronomy. You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. Today we celebrate Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent, a season of purification, sacrifice, and preparation. Today is a great day for reflection on what we need to grow in the spiritual life. Examine yourself and ask God how you can turn your heart to him and grow closer throughout the season of Lent. Our responsory. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy face like the hypocrites. Our canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy face like the hypocrites. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgiving God, you call us back to you. On this day of fasting and prayer, we cry out to you. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to love one another with pure affection and deepen the prayer of your church. We pray, God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Anchor our fasting in deeds of justice and love for the poor. We pray, God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Increase our almsgiving and our generosity toward those in need. We pray, God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, um, for our parish ministers, our parish staff, for all those of you who donate your time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may be either ill or who have passed away. We pray, God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And a prayer for protection in time of our COVID-19 pandemic. O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform, conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Lord, protect us in our struggle against evil as we begin the discipline of Lent. Make this day holy by our self-denial. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God strengthen us inwardly, that with the joy of the Holy Spirit we may offer God something above the measure required of us. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day, a blessed Lent. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.